Joining us now here on the MMA Report on Radio Influence, man, it's going to be looking to remain undefeated coming up here at the end of the month, Titan FC 38. It is Sid Bice, undefeated flyweight, going to be taking on Pedro Nobre. My understanding is, Sid, title shot is on the line here for you. So uh, first off, appreciate you coming on 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 the show. Obviously, is that really the big part about this fight is the fact of, uh, you know, you know you win this fight, you're fighting for a title? Um, yeah, man, I really haven't thought about it that way. Um, I usually just take one, one fight at a time, but yeah, that's an awesome opportunity. You know, Titan's one of the top promotions out there. So I'd love to fight for that belt and, uh, take one of those home. You know, uh, when this interview was set up, it, it was prior to the news coming out about the ultimate fire 24. And since I knew I was going to have you on the show, I was like, man, this, <laughs> this is, this is a perfect opportunity to ask you the week of your fight, you fight on the 30th. On the 25th, yep. the UFC is doing uh, tryouts for the Ultimate Fighter 24. I got to, you know, first off, it's for your division. The winner of this reality show is getting a title matchup. Is there at all a part of you that do you, do you and your management start sitting down and going, do we try to try out for the show instead of taking the fight? <laughs> um, you know, I still got to talk to my coach. I just seen that posted yesterday as well, you know, and. I think that'd be an awesome opportunity, you know, especially to win the tournament and get a shot at the title right right away going into the UFC. I think that'd be awesome. Um, but it's something I got to sit down with my coach, my manager, and, and talk to him about it. Um, I still plan on fighting on the 30th no matter what. I mean, I think you can do the tryout and you probably wouldn't get in the house till later, but um, we'll see. I, I mean, maybe that is an option. I, I really haven't got to discuss it yet, but um, we'll see what happens. I mean, just in generally speaking there, I mean, have you ever even thought about putting yourself in a situation where you might have to fight three or four times in a, in a six week period? I mean, you ever thought about that in terms of how you would handle that from, you know, just making sure your body would be in the right shape to do that? Man, I, I think I would do great at it. You know, I, I don't have to cut a terrible lot of weight, so I don't think like my, my weight cut wouldn't be an issue. Um, you know, I've been a wrestler since I was uh, about five years old, you know, so I'm used to getting in multiple multiple stuff. I've never fought twice in, in a short amount of time, but I've, I've wrestled countless times, you know, so I don't think it'd be too much different. I mean, obviously, I'd hope for no, no injuries or anything during the fight, but as long as that doesn't happen, I don't see a problem with it. Of course, you you made your Titan FC debut back in, in September of last year, decision win. Uh, overall, how, how did you, were you, was that a, a fight where you were completely happy with performance? Were you happy because you got the win? It, it was, is it, because I know guys tend to look more at the negatives than they do the positives after a fight is over. Yeah, man, um, I, w- I was actually happy with my performance. I think I was, it was a good, a good fight for me to kind of showcase my stand up and and then I'm not just a, just a wrestler or a ground guy. And uh, so I think it was good for that reason. Um, but like you said, man, I, I always wish I could finish, man. It's, it's, uh, that's what people want to see. And, and so that's what I want to get, you know, and get that finish and don't leave it up to the judges, which luckily have, have all gone in my favor. But, um, you know, sometimes those fights are close and one judge might see it the other way and you might get robbed a fight where you, you, you think you could have won. So, it's uh, it's always best to get that finish for sure. Is it is it one of those things when you get the decision? Obviously, you're happy you got the win, but do you do you kind of beat yourself it up all going, man? I know I could have finished that fight, or do you have to kind of try to look at the pauses and move on to the next task? Um, I, I have had a couple, or at least one fight where I, I was upset afterwards. You know, um, usually when I win, I, I'm pretty happy and I, I felt like I've won every time, but. Um, there's, there was one fight in particular where I, I just felt like I, I wasn't getting off in the right angles. And, and so I, I just knew I was making little mistakes here and there. And I think every fighter does that though, you know, I mean, we're our biggest critiques, like you said. So, um, but generally speaking, I, I'm usually pretty happy with my performances and, uh, I hope it keeps going the same way. Once again, we're joined by Sid Bice here on the MMA Report on Radio Influence. Scheduled to return here April 30th, Titan FC 38 down in South Florida, taking on Pedro Nobre. And uh, obviously, every fight's a, a different obstacle that lies in front of you. Um, you know, when looking at it on paper, I think one of the obstacles you look at is obviously this is the biggest name that you have fought and, and taking on a very experienced guy. I mean, for you, when when you look at Pedro Nobre, outside of experience, what are some other things that you look at and says, "Man, this is is the type of challenges that I'm going to have on fight night." Um, man, I, I I usually don't look too much into that. I I 
I mean, for me, I train with some of the top guys in the world already. I mean, I got to train with Joe Warren and, uh, you know, there's countless guys on our team that are, that are up there, you know, so I don't think it's going to be any different than that. I mean, we've got a lot of little guys and tough little guys that I think are just as good, if not better than, than Pedro that I fight with every day. So, uh, I think it's just going to be another Friday night. I go out there and, and as long as I go out there and perform and, and do what I do best, I think there's a, there's a W in my column for sure. When when you say do what I do best for people who have never seen you fight, how would you how would you explain that statement? Um, man, I, I mean, I'm I'm just a little ball of fire, man. I go out there and and uh, get after it, man. I'm a wrestler at heart, so I've got that that grind of nonstop motion, keep going in your face, and and I've also I'm pretty well rounded anymore, you know. Like I'm I'm not just that wrestler, so I can strike, I can take you down. I can beat you up. I can submit you. Um, I can do it. I can do it all now, you know. So I, I feel like I'm a explosive fighter, and and I hope people love to watch me. In terms of coming from that wrestling base, do you remember the moment when you started getting the confidence in your hands? Um. Yeah, I think it was probably, um, uh, probably one of, right around my first pro fight is when I really started feeling comfortable on my feet, you know, and and. Uh, not being so nervous about it, but, um, man, I've, I've always loved boxing. My, my grandpa was a boxer, so I grew up kind of, I've never actually did any boxing, but I, I grew up learning how to do it, you know, so I've always kind of had natural hands, I guess you would want to put it. Um, so it actually come to me pretty quick. Have, with your grandfather being a boxer, did you always kind of feel that, uh, early on in your life that, uh, you know, being a fighter was something that, uh, was a good possibility? Um, yeah, I think it always was in my mind, you know, I, I never really thought about it till I got older, but man, I, I was bred to be a, a fighter, you know, I, I've been wrestling since I was about four years old and, and so I've just, it's been ingrained in me, you know, just fighting was the next step for me. So it's been an awesome experience. And obviously, uh, very well so far in this, in your career to this point, uh, you know, fighters always talk about, you know, you want to go out there and make a statement, obviously for you making a statement, this fight could ultimately lead to a title matchup uh you know what what would what would you need to do in this fight to to for you to say i made a statement um man i think just go out there and and get a finish you know that's what i'm always looking for i want to go out there and showcase my skill but i think that i think i'm going to beat him everywhere i mean honestly i I think he's he's really good on the ground he's got good stand-up um but besides that, man, I think I, I think he has to he has to push the pace on me. He's, he's not going to take me down. I think my stand up's better. I think I'm going to whoop his ass on the feet. And and if I want to take it down, I take him down and and I beat him up. And that's how it's going to go. And this fight will be a part Titan FC 38 coming up on April the 30th down in South Florida. Of course, the event will be streamed live on UFC Fight Pass. Sid, as always, appreciate time and good luck in the fight, man. Awesome. Thank you, guys.